Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Budgeting Biologist. My name is Brittany. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping on my little old video. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I do videos on cash stuffing, budgeting, and finance here on my channel. So if you're interested in any of that type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the rest of the video. So for today's video, I will be doing a cash unstuffing for week two of February, 2022. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Okay. So first I'm gonna start off with my transaction breakdown. And as always, if you're only interested in the cash unstuffing portion of the video, I will have a timestamp somewhere up on the screen right now. But let's jump into the um, transaction breakdown. All right, so I went ahead and zoomed you guys in. So let's go ahead and get started. The first transaction is going to be, of course, coffee. Your girl has just been buying an extra coffee almost every morning for like a month now, and I just can't stop. But that one came out of my spending category, and that was $2.39. The next um, category uh, of spending came out of beauty, and this was at Amazon. I bought some braiding hair because um, I'm getting some individual braids soon put in, and the braiding hair is way cheaper on Amazon than it is in like a store. So if you're like me and you get braiding hair or crochet hair at any point, yo, get it on Amazon. There's way more selection and it's usually cheaper. And that was total of $50. This next one was at Target. I actually went to Target twice um, on this day. The first time I went, I got some personal items, um, just, you know, like deodorant, uh, a few things like that. And that total was $43.38. And then I went back to Target and got um, just some, um, what did I get, like some sparkling water because I was out. There's a Target really close to me within walking distance, so it's not a big deal to go twice in one day, but that was $3.39. Then here I went to Giant, which is a grocery store in my area. And the reason why um, this is coming out of my personal category and not my groceries category is because I bought acetone. I could not find acetone at Target, but when I went to Giant, they had some and it was $3.39. Um, next, this is the cafe, and um, this was at my job, and um, this is going to be taking out of eating out. I kind of regret going and getting this. I had brought lunch that day, but I just did not feel like eating it, so I did go ahead and eat out. I kind of regret it now, but too late. Um, and there I spent $6.99 basically on lunch. On the 9th, of course, I got coffee the next day, once again, coming out of spending, and that is $2.39. I'm trying to figure out a better way to kind of curb my coffee spending money. Um, maybe I can just bring an extra cup of coffee with me from home, so that way I don't have to buy it once I get to work. But I really do wanna work on curbing my coffee spending. Um, on the 10th, I went to District Taco, which is like a local like Tex-Mex uh, restaurant in my area. I took that out of my eat out money and that was $10.98. The next day I went to a restaurant called Mod Pizza. So lots of eating out this week, which is not really typical of me. Usually I only eat out on the weekends, but this was an unusual week. I was really, really busy and just did not have a lot of time to cook, but that's okay. Um, I went to my pizza and my boyfriend was with me, so I just bought his pizza too, and that was $23.57 and then um, coming out of eating out. On the 12th, I got gas, and gas I spent $34.89 at Exxon. And I'm not sure where you guys are, but in my area of the US, I think gas was at like $3.59 at my station, but it is what it is. Luckily for me, I don't really drive that often, but it still kind of hurts spending that much money on gas. Um, also on Saturday, I went to this restaurant called Half Smoke. Um, I went out to dinner with my very best friend from high school. Her and I don't get to see each other that often. So when we do, like we kind of go ham, like whenever we go out together, we kind of go ham and just get whatever we want. So we went to Half Smoke, we got 
flights, like drink flights. We got wings, we got crab dip. We had such a great time. And in total, the bill was seven, $70.95 for my portion of the bill. And then also a half smoke for eating out. I did um, go ahead and grab something to go. Um, my boyfriend asked me for something, um, to bring him back something for dinner. So I just grabbed him something very quickly to go and that was $13. And then um, on Sunday, I went to CVS and um, this is coming out of my personal category. I had to pick up a prescription and that prescription cost me $6.74. And then finally, also at CVS on Sunday, I um, am spending some money out of my YouTube sinking fund for $3.81. If you um, noticed at the beginning of the video, I do have a new background. When I went to go pick up my prescription, I had to pass through kind of like the craft aisle in CVS. And I saw this really pretty poster board that is now the background of the video. And I was like, why not? Like I have some YouTube spending money, let me get it. And that was $3.81. So today is Valentine's Day and I have not spent any money today. And I just wanna briefly say, I love all you guys. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Um, I believe the budgeting community is the best community running on YouTube. I love all of you. I hope you all are able to spend Valentine's Day with someone you love or yourself. Love yourself, of course, um, and have a really great Valentine's Day. But let's go ahead and move on to the cash on stuffing. All right, so now we're gonna do the cash unstuffing. I forgot to show you guys what I'm drinking today. I have this blackberry and cucumber sparkling water that I got from all these. And this is my first time trying it. So let's see how she goes. Bottoms up. Okay, this is good. I definitely like this one. So the blackberry cucumber is definitely a hit. All right, so I did go ahead and take out my credit card money. This is the money that I'm going to go um, and use to pay off my credit card at the end of the month. And um, I use this to make change during my cash on stuffing. So let's go ahead and get into it. I didn't spend any money at a household. I did spend quite a bit of money out of eating out. So let's go ahead and add it up. So for eating out, I spent $6.99 plus $10.98, plus $23.57, plus, uh, what is that, 13. And that means I need to take out $54.54, but I round to the nearest dollar, so that means I need to take out of my eating out envelope $55. And of course, I have my receipts. I do use Fetch. I will put my um, code on the screen right now and it also will be in a description box if you wanna get some points when you use the app for the first time. So, all right, so we need to take out 55. So we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55. So we have $55 that came from eating out, which means we only have two dollars left for the rest of the month but i don't plan on eating out the rest of this month i have so much food that i actually need to eat now that i have a little bit more time so hopefully i won't go over and eating out this month all right next is gas and parking and then gas and parking we need to take out 34 dollars 81 so we need to take out 35 dollars and currently in here, let's see how much I have. I have $45 in here. I need to take out 35, which means we need to have $10 left over. So I'm just gonna combine all this and make the change. And now we have five, 10 left over in gas and parking. Next is alcohol. Didn't spend any money out of this envelope. Next is spending and spending. I did $2.39 and then we can just multiply that by the amount of times I got coffee. And I got coffee one, two, what is that? One, two times, so that's times two. So it means we need to take out $4.78 from spending, round that up to five, of course. That's actually in my wallet, so I'm gonna go grab my wallet and be right back. 
All right, guys, so I got my wallet and I need to take out $5 from my spending money in here. And currently I have 20, 25, 30, and I just need to take out a five and the rest of the 25 goes back in the wallet. All right, next category is beauty. and beauty, I spent the full $50. So I have 20, 40, 45, 50. Next is groceries and groceries. I need to take out, what is that? $3.39 from groceries. And let me see how much money I actually have in here to see how much I should have left over. Or do I have just the $5, sorry, the $4 I need to take out? Looks like I don't, but that's okay. So let me see. Right now in groceries, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 93. So if we do 93 minus $3.39, that leaves us with $89.61. We're gonna round to the nearest dollar, so I need to have $90 left over in this envelope. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. So $93 left over in groceries for the month, uh, $90, $90 left over in groceries for the rest of the month. Uh, we didn't spend any laundry money. My going out money, um, I spent $70.95. I think I have, let me see how much I have. I have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71, two, three, four. And I need to take out $71 from here. That means I have $3 left over for date night and going out. And now we need to do personal and personal. It looks like I need to, I had uh, spent out a personal a couple of times that so I need to add that up. So that's $43.38 plus uh, $6.75 uh, plus $3.39. And that is equal to $51. $53.51, so we need to take out 54 from personal. So let's see if I have enough to do that. So that's 20, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. So that is pretty much all of my personal money. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take all of it and uh, put that towards my credit cards. All right, so the last one we need to grab some money out is my YouTube envelope. Do not judge me, I have not made new, um, what is it, uh, labels yet? I don't know why it took me so long to say that. I have not made new labels yet, but I will get to it by the next video, I promise. Currently, I have $10. I spent $3.81, so I need to take out four, which means I need to have $6 left over in this envelope. So let's find a five and a one, and then we're gonna grab that 10. All right, so the final thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and basically um, count up my money. Well, first organize it, count it, and then compare it to how much I have currently charged on my credit cards. So I'm gonna organize the money and I'll be right back.
All right, so let's go ahead and count the money. And someone did comment on one of my previous videos that it looks better if I have all the money facing the same way. So let's hope that I did that this time, um, that all the money is facing the same way. So we have 100, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 300, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 500, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 600, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have $604 going towards our credit card um, for the month of February. And we're only in week two, so your girl has definitely been spending. But all right, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. We are on the road to 500 subscribers on my channel. So if you really did enjoy the video, please give it a like, comment, and then of course, subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.